everybody to the Single and Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima, and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette, and I'm also the founder of Single and Stilettos. Today we have on our show Hunt Etheridge, and he's a dating coach at Hunt for Advice, and he's also a senior partner of the International Dating Coach Association. And I'm so excited to have him here today because he is honestly one of the best male dating coaches that I know out there. He's great, and he gives great advice to women. So welcome, Hunt to the show. Hello, Suzanne. It's great to be here. I'm excited to uh, come on. Yeah. So before we get started into this great topic, I would love for you to tell our audience how you got started in this business. Sure. Um, first and foremost, I love people. Always have, always work. Uh, just, just find people fascinating. And I got to always, always talk to women easily. And then um, actually a family friend that was a therapist told me that I needed to figure out a way to monetize it, that I knew more about it than anyone she's ever met, and the minute that I did, she would refer all of her clients and patients to me. Mm -hmm. So it was three resounding thoughts, and this was about five or six years ago, so I started to explore and look and research. Do I know more? Did I know more? Is it teachable? Is, it, is there a need for it? started my own company about five years ago called Hunt for Advice, and then worked for that for a couple of years, and then joined New York Dating Coach, where I still work as their senior coach, and I've been doing that for the last uh, three or four years, uh, as well as uh, working on International Dating Coach Association. So, Great. Nutshell. Great. Well, today we are talking about, our first topic is, we're going to talk about dating a player. And I'm so excited to talk about this, because I think every lady out there has dated a player, and had my first question to you is, what are the three biggest signs that a woman is dating a player? Um, at the beginning, one is that you're not meeting her friends and family. If, this is, if you've been dating for a month, two months, three months, and you still don't really know anything about him or about his friends and things like that, you might be dating a player. And especially a lot of times um, from past knowledge when I used to be one. You wait, uh, wait, 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 let's pause. You were a player? <laughs> I was I was I was a bit of a player. I like um, I like how you're blushing a little bit about that. <laughs> I well the thing I one of the things I did pride myself on is I was an honest player. I made sure that everybody knew where okay. they stood so wasn't ever trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes because that's just deceptive and not fun and and but I will say that I had the opportunity to market research a lot of things for my current position. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, so you're not, a big sign is you're not meeting his friends or family. What's the second biggest sign? Um, I would say that you aren't the weekend girl. Ah, that's important, huh? Yeah, so a lot of times people, guys will like, oh, let's meet out Wednesday, Thursday, but it'll keep Friday or Saturday either for the number one girl, or to meet new girls that he can then date during the week. And put them into so the funnel, you don't right? Feel that giving up time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, it's basically time. Like if you don't feel that he, he's giving you the, the best time, the best evenings, he might be using those other nights for nefarious purposes. Ah, okay. So what's the third sign that you're dating a player? Everything seems to be going too well. He knows exactly what to say, makes you feel awesome. Any concerns you have, he is able to answer them easily. Uh, to, and any issues that come up, he has an answer for it. Players are good at what they do. Okay. They game to them to a certain degree, and you don't win the game if you're not prepared for any situation that might come up. So sometimes if things seem to be. Uh, that's a really, really good point. So I this this is a question that I think is real I think goes through every woman's mind is can a player actually change and commit to one woman? So first <laughs> off, I would say yes. They absolutely can. There's um, a phrase that I love that uh, a wise wife knows a reformed rascal makes the best husband. Because they can 
uh, the, the advantages of mm -hmm. dating a reformed player or or if the person is, is coming out is, at least for me too, I got the opportunity and the lucky chance to see what was out there, to be able to taste and experience every flavor um, that presented itself. And so that when I did meet my wife, I knew that she had something that was different than all of the other girls that I had met before. And one of the things... One of the things that's a little difficult for guys is that we are sort of brought up in society, if it's offered, take it. Right. If you don't know the next time it's going to come around, or this guy over here can't get any, so help the guys out in general and take one. Mm -hmm. It took a long time to understand that just because you can doesn't mean you have to or need to. And it's not to say that um, a, no, I mean, a player can change. Mm -hmm cannot change a player, just as you can't change anyone. If the person is, uh, you know, you're definitely welcome to give him the, the benefit of the doubt and see where it goes, but the more you try to fight it, the harder he's going to pull back. Right. And I love that you say that because I think a lot of women will go into dating a player and they know he's a player and they're like, well, no, no, I can change him. I'm going to change him. But I love that you say that is that he can change, but he's going to change on his own accord. Yeah. It's not going to be because you made him change. Right. Exactly. There's a great um, quote that I remember. It says a woman marries a man hoping she can change him and a man marries a woman hoping she'll never change. Neither of which are going to happen. It's just our own notions. Exactly. And I think that's a really, really great point. So now once a player actually changes and he does commit to a woman, can she actually trust that he's not going to cheat on her? Um, well, you've always got to go with your gut. You know, you, to everything, someone, someone will be able to go around and lie and cheat and, and, and do all of the bad things. However, um... If you, if you feel that he is committing to you, he does know, or you know definitely he's not thinking uh, what else is out there because he has dated a lot of people and there's something about you that he likes more than this. Two, for a lot of guys, one of the reasons that they don't want to commit is that they might miss something sexually or fantasy-wise that's going to come across their plate. Being a player, a lot of times you're able to explore these different pathways and these different experiences so that when you are ready for a relationship, you don't have these desires of, uh, of wondering what's out there. And the grass is always going to be greener on the other side. You know, no matter what you have or have not done, you always think that something else is better. Having to experience these things beforehand does let you come in with a sense of, of relief, a sense of uh, wholeness, uh, where you can fully commit yourself without having to look back into the past. So, and, and I love that you said that, because I think, um, you know, when, it, when a player finally finds the one, it's not just about that she's great in bed. He looks for all these other qualities, right? That's can you tell us some of those qualities that a player, well, not even just a player, quite honestly, it's any guy. What is he looking for in a woman? Well, one thing, uh, one thing about at least being a player, players are usually high energy, center of attention, mm -hmm. uh, things like that, and uh, usually very adventurous, um, fun-loving. So... A partner is, uh, that's exactly it. And you find a partner in crime, someone, a co-pilot, someone to join you along your adventurous um, mentality, not someone that's trying to chain you and keep you inside. You're looking at someone being like, this is awesome. Let's, yeah, let's see where this goes. Um, but for the most, I mean, for me personally, like, exactly like you said, if it was just about sex, the guy doesn't need to commit because he can have it every night of the week. So it's obviously right. something different. For me, it was talking. We're all going to be not hot someday at 85 years old sitting on our rockers. And when you can talk with someone, and I mean this in two different ways. One, talk, just topics of conversation. There's always something new to talk about. There's always new stones to uncover. Um, and two, talk as in communication. Great. And Everything is, um, I'm a great communicator, however, I also overshare. So I remember on the second date with my wife, I told her that 
I have no relationship skills whatsoever. <laughs> so, and she married you anyway. She, yeah, she married me anyhow. <laughs> but at least I was being honest to, to the fact that listen, I like you. I'm not going to be. I'm not good at this. This has been what my past is. This is where I want to go in the future. Just help me along with this, and you know, I'll love and cherish you. Hey, you know, it's something just hit me when you said that because. I'm thinking that most players, they don't like to show their, their vulnerable side. Am I right? Yes, because and, they, it makes them look less cool or desirable. Right. And so correct me if I'm wrong, because you used to be a player, for you to share that on a second date, you were really being vulnerable because you had no idea how she was going to react. So you really just trusted when you threw it out there to her, right? Yep, yeah. Uh, one of the things that I've lived my life by um, is that I'd rather scare someone away with the truth than lead. Sometimes be a little bit more forthright, forthcoming than I necessarily should. But I also don't want to get involved with someone that three months down the line they find out that I used to be a player and then get upset and, and that creates issues. But I think... Um, you know this, but a lot of women don't realize that the men's egos are way more fragile than women's. And for a man, we think that women want a certain type of man that is stoic or alpha or what have you. Um, but they re but you realize as you get older and with more experience that by by opening up, by showing your scars, by of showing your vulnerability, you're in fact showing that you are more confident than most of the guys out there, uh, which is a real good turn on. Self knowledge is a very powerful tool. That's I love that. So we're going to end on that point. So ladies, um, I think Hunt gave you some great signs to watch out for when you're dating a player, and it's not to say that a player can't change. He can, but you just need to know what you're getting into. Exactly. So these have been some great tips, Hunt. So give us your best dating tip for women do things that you like now this sounds oversimplified but so many people women included are trying new things going to new places doing things that they've never tried um, in order to meet new people and while this is great people forget to focus on the things that they do like the places that make them feel comfortable and 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 activities that fulfill them because when you are doing those things your body language is happy, your energy is good, you're enjoying yourself, and you look like a person that somebody wants to go up and talk to and get to know. And even if there's nobody in your knitting circle that you would date, they have brothers, friends, coworkers that they're going to introduce you to because they see how full of life and passionate and interested you are in something. So definitely take some time to explore new horizons but make sure that you're not foregoing the things that you actually enjoy and are passionate about. I love that tip. I think that's a great, great tip. So, Hunt, how can our audience find you? Um, go to NewYorkDatingCoach.com. I'm the senior coach there. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Hunt for Advice. Great. So ladies, go find Hunt. And if you would like to get date coached by him, I can tell you firsthand that he is a great dating coach. So thanks everybody for joining us on the Single on Stilettos show. If you would like to view our videos, you can go to singleonstilettos.com. If you would like to get the podcast, you can go to iTunes. And if you would like to get our free report on the top 10 secrets on what attracts a man and what turns him off, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleonstilettos.com.